I must admit, as a mother, I have a lot of questions regarding COVID-19 in pediatrics. Yun pa nga yata yung pinaka-worry ko, yung COVID-19 sa mga anak ko. Based on the title, we are going to talk about COVID-19 in pediatrics. Pediatrics po meaning sa mga bata. Well, most of you know, I am an internist. I specialize in internal medicine, so I deal with adult patients. And the best way to do COVID-19 in pediatrics, to tackle about this topic, is diba, to invite someone who is an expert in infectious disease and sa mga bata pa. I invited my very good friend, Dr. Mark Joseph Castellano, an infectious disease specialist in pediatrics, meaning po, yun na nga po, specialista po siya sa mga bata na nagbibil sa mga infectious disease. And one of that infectious disease is of course COVID-19. So that's the best way to discuss this matter is to talk to an expert. So I pushed this topic in my channel talaga and I'm so happy and grateful for Dr. Castellano for accommodating our invitation. So with no delays, I would like to introduce to you once again, Dr. Mark Joseph Castellano. So for the first question, as a infectious disease specialist in pediatrics, how are you during this pandemic? Good morning. Uh, I'm Dr. Mark Joseph Casariano, a pediatric infectious disease specialist and consultant. And I'm here to answer questions regarding COVID-19 in pediatric patients. For the first question, in this pandemic, there are a lot of COVID-19 cases being recorded in the Philippines and in the pediatric population, the cases are less frequent in, in comparison with adult population and uh, it's tiring to be an infectious disease in this pandemic however these patients these children needs us yes for sure po doc it's very tiring tiring na nga din po sa pagkaramdam ko that we're dealing with adult patients for sure, an infectious disease specialist as yourself, ang daming consultations, kahit nga hindi regarding COVID-19, for sure, tinatanong na po sa inyo. And I know it's also stressful, especially na I know that you're also working in RITM na, di ba po, government hospital na. But I also know that you have the heart to serve and kayo mo yan, dog. So for my second question, dog, is it true that there is lower infection rates in children and if, if they're infected, they have milder symptoms? COVID-19 in pediatric patients is usually characterized not having a lower rate of infection but rather a lower rate of severity because in children they usually acquire the infection and most of them 90 to 95 percent are asymptomatic or without any symptoms or if they will have symptoms majority will be mild so, in comparison with adults, pediatric patients will usually have mild symptoms. Mm, that somehow provided a little bit, a little bit of relief as a mother. Because if ever gonna na majority of the cases of mother symptoms and hindi siya as severe as adults, I've been praying for that. At least, syempre, ang good sa prayers naman ay hindi ma-infect yung mga children natin. But if ever they are infected, ibas na mild na po yung symptoms. And in, a, in the hospitals that I'm affiliated with, actually, I witnessed din naman that most of the patients or most of the pediatric patients have recovered. And thank God, please, over lang talaga yung mortality niya. So, Doc, for the third question, how are they infected? What are their senses? 
symptoms, how do they differ from the adults when they manifest as symptoms? Children usually get infected from adults and other older children. Their usual symptoms usually include fever, cough, difficulty of breathing, diarrhea, or even vomiting. The difference of COVID-19 in children in comparison with adults are usually the severity of the symptoms. Wherein children, as I have said earlier, will really have mild symptoms, while adults will have a more severe course of COVID-19. So, more or less, no, they're similar talaga with adults presenting with fever, cough, difficulty of breathing, diarrhea, and then may vomiting nga din sa pediatrics. So, yun pa din, yung severity pa din, yung difference talaga from the adults. And, um, gusto ko yun, good news yun. So, anyway, so, sa fourth question, Doc, this is something medical. Actually, to the subscribers that are not medical, I still want to ask this question, kay Doc. Um, what are the medications or the management you give? You give to pediatrics, you also give to Desivir or any antiviral meds, dexamethasone perhaps, to severe cases. For treatment, uh, we usually give symptomatic or supportive care. If there's fever, we give paracetamol. Uh, if there's concomitant material infection, we give antibiotics. We add zinc and vitamin D3 or your polycalciferol. And in severe cases, for those confirmed COVID-19 cases, we give antivirals like remdesivir along with dexamethasone, usually for 5 to 10 days. So, talagang similar lang din siya. Actually, I have read about the guidelines naman a little bit about pediatrics. Siyempre, nagasa din sa mga anak ko. And more or less similar nga din siya. But what you said, may remdesivir din pala, dexamethasone, and the zinc. And para sa patong mo, parang pareha lang din siya ng management ng adults. Depende na lang din yata sa severity ng symptoms ng patient. No, Doc? Doc? Um, last question, Doc. What can you advise for parents like myself in how we can prevent COVID-19 infecting our children? And what can you say about the opening of the classes? To prevent COVID-19 in children, in general, we should always remind ourselves to practice the three important things. Number one, frequent hand hygiene, frequent hand washing. Number two, wearing of mask properly all the time. And number three is to keep ourselves distant from others. So we should practice physical distancing of at least six feet or two meters so as not to acquire or get the virus from other people. So if we practice these three steps, then we can prevent getting the COVID-19 disease. So again, this is Dr. Magasteriano and thank you for your time. So there you have it guys, similar lang din sa adults yung mga sinabi niya, wearing the mask properly, social distancing, hand washing, yun lang yun yung ma-prevent natin sa children and also hindi niya sinagot yung online classes but as in my opinion, huwag na muna. <laughs> Ako to, personal kong opinion yun because I really, really can't assure marami kang mapapasaling mukha doon. It's really, you know, classes. Parang ayoko din yung mga online classes na yan. Nakikita ko, naririnig at yung mga experiences ng mga mothers na kilala ko medyo na sa stress sila. However, thank you Dr. Mark Joseph Castellano for raising us with your presence kahit virtually lang yan for answering our questions and I hope you guys learned something from this video and I'm going to show Dr. Mark Joseph Castellanos clinic schedules marami siyang clinic so I'm going to just put the clinic schedules and puntahan niyo siya or you can actually private me message him sa Facebook and consult I think he's accepting that as well the telemedicine din yata si Doc and I hope you guys learned something from this video. I'm sure I did. And just 
comment down below if you have any suggestions na ito tackle natin in this channel of mine, especially my COVID-19 series. And see you guys in my next video. And bye-bye!